Um, so this goes off. So then below it you're going to have this uh, assembly that has a spacer here. Alright, so the spacer just, and um, obviously as you can see there's the bearing there inside which needs to be replaced. That's one of the bearings. There's going to be three in total, so that comes off. Here you've got your uh, cush drive or cushions, which I will remove. And then we've got the bearing on the other side. You would have the disc, which I've already removed. So there's, there we go, there's the disc. And here we have another bearing. So let's go ahead and start removing this. All right, here we have the seal. So the seal pops out fairly easily using the screwdriver. I've actually started from driving this bearing out. Uh, this is the side where we've got the disc the rear disc. So what I've done, I took the socket extension and I've put it in that way, inside here. Can you see what's happening? And I'm hitting, and I'm hitting that inner, that inner part of the bearing with my socket here. And then I'm just changing the position of the socket. First I hit here, then I hit there, then I hit there, then I hit there. Because you want to be hitting it here, 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 and constantly keep changing your your position, and that's the way you can very easily drive this out. Okay. See the bearing is coming out. And it's actually coming out fairly easily, which I'm really happy with that. There we go. Okay now. So inside we've got this spacer here. And uh, here we have the bearing. And actually, listen to the sound. This bearing was probably up for replacement anyway. Okay, so now the removal of the other bearing. This one here is going to be very easy. I'm just going to turn the tire around. And what you'll see inside. this and all you have to do is just give it a couple of hits uh, on that ring that you see there and the bearing will come out. So I can tell already just by the sound of it that it's coming out. Not only I can see this, I can hear it. And the bearings out. Here's another thing I can tell you. You can't confuse those bearings because they're actually slightly different sizes. So installation of the new ones will also be easy. Here's another one for us. So first of all, I've got to remove this um, seal. Okay, slight motivation with the screwdriver and it comes out. Then inside you're going to see there's going to be a circlip. So let me just get this grease away from there. Let's try to remove it. Snap ring pliers. Let's go ahead. So I'm going to have my piece of wood here and a rag on it uh, and I've got about one centimeter of depth here so I can comfortably uh, keep hammering and then when this bearing is uh, somewhat flush with the body of this hub 
Then I'm just gonna grab it in my hand and give it a few taps from this side here and it will pop out. I'm gonna be using this. Okay, it's closer but still not not fully flush. Meaning we've actually bottomed out, nearly came out. So now all I've got to do is just uh, oh actually <laughs> there we go, came out. Alright, so here we have it. Uh, at the top we've got the old bearings and seals, at the bottom we've got the new stuff. I went for the Koyo kit. Why Koyo? Because I put them in my other bikes and so far so good. Uh, now I'm going to start with installing the biggest bearing, which is the one in the hub here. And that's going to be easy because you've got this recess here. So you just drive the bearing in until it hits that recess and it's job done. So, to start the installation, I'm just going to move this all the way. I'm going to be using this piece of wood. And obviously to drive the bearing in, I'm going to use the old bearing, which I'm going to be hitting on. And now I'm going to use a small amount of grease, just in there, to help the new bearing sliding. Alright. Okay. And the old one goes at the top. Yeah, it's actually quite deep now, but not fully inserted. And by the way, you can keep checking it from the other side and you'll see there, there's still a bit of a space between the bearing and this hub. And that is it, you can hear the sound actually has changed. And it's more like a metallic sound because the bearing is actually fully inserted and there is no gap between the bearing and the hub. Alright, you know I would actually recommend having some sort of eye protection installing this because this can... Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently hammer it in. So here I have the new seal and it's quite simple because you only press it in. Here's the new bearing. Okay. And here is the old one on top of it. It's nearly flush with the wheel. Just a few taps from outside releases it. And here. There we go, seven millimeters, perfect, fully installed. Well, here we have the other side of the wheel. Before I start installing the bearing, let's not forget we've got to put the spacer back in there. A bit of a grease on the side. So you see this spacer, it actually is protruding a bit from that hole there. So installing the new bearing in, you've got to have a tiny amount of space between the inner part of the bearing and that spacer collar there. I don't know, maybe a third of a millimeter, half a millimeter. There we go. Okay, it seems like I need to give a few taps here from the top. So I constantly keep checking what's the amount of space between the bear and the collar here. Basically what you want to achieve is free movement of that spacer in there. Okay, 
Okay, we are good. Rear wheel is done. Here we have it, front wheel, and once again removing the old bearings. First I'm going to get the seal out. Pops out. Okay, let's pop it to the other side. Same, same thing, the seal here. So inside there, what you're going to find is this metal collar. That's what it looks like. Alright peeps, so it took me about an hour to actually start moving on with this. So, same as before, there's that little collar inside there, uh, in that wheel. See? There's that collar inside there, and uh, it sits there really tight, squeezed between both bearings. Ideally, for removal of those bearings at the front, you would need some special tools, like bearing removers. But anyway, after an hour, it started moving. I can hear it's coming out, but it will take time. There we go. Oh. So inside you've got this collar and this shitty bearing that didn't want to come out. Alright. And now to get this bug around, it's actually very easy now because all you've got to do is just tap it a few times and the drift goes in and again it's just tap 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 and you're just changing positions from left to right top to bottom oh came out so installing um, those wheel bearings in the front wheel i'm gonna put a tad of grease inside there all right so here we have it the new bearing Again, have a look at this. It's pretty much flush now with the wheel here. So now this is the point where I can't use this bearing anymore because it's going to be sinking there. Okay, peeps. So what I'm going to do now? I'm going to use this uh, 32 millimeter. Sorry, that's a 28 millimeter socket. That should be good now. It was 7.95 when I took the bearing out. There we go, I'm pretty much perfect. Okay, so the right side bearing is installed. I'm not going to put the seal in yet, but uh, have a look at the difference here between the right and left side. So this area here is all round. That circle is all round without anything sticking out out of it. And if I turn it, to the left side, which is by the way the side of the speedometer gearbox, you'll see that you have this sort of star. You've got those protrusions here, so you know that's the left side for you. You of course have this color here, and the color has to go in. Just a bit of grease in there. Um, there we go. I'm going to use the old one. Excellent, so have a look. And once again I took some measurements before I actually removed the old bearing, so let's check this. Okay, there we go. So now, if you take a look, you can still put your pinky in there, and there will be a slight, tiny little gap, maybe half a mil, between um, the inner race of this bearing 
of both bearings and this collar inside and that's what you want. Okay so what goes in now is uh, this little ring and then on top of it there goes your seal. So let's now switch it to the other side. Now I can finally install this uh, seal on the other side as well. And that is it. Job done. Wheel bearings replaced. Thanks for watching.